Hello, I'm Bernie Leaving, Congregational Care Pastor here at Palmasia United Methodist. Welcome to this week's edition of our prayer cast. My wife Cindy is preparing to sell her home. And of course, part of that process is cleaning out attics, clearing shelves, and opening boxes long forgotten or not remembered at all. That is the experience she had a couple days ago when she discovered a box with all kinds of paperwork dating back to the late 18 and early 1900s. One such item was her grandfather's Tennessee high school diploma dated 1913. It certified that he had, and I'm quoting now, completed the course of study in the branches as required by law to be taught, viz, or in other words, orthography, reading, writing, arithmetic, English grammar, geography, history of Tennessee, United States history, elementary geology of Tennessee, elementary principles of agriculture, elements of algebra, elements of plane geometry, elements of natural philosophy, bookkeeping, elementary physiology and hygiene, elements of civil government, rhetoric or higher English, and elocution, end of quote. As I read over his list of course studies, I thought how much things have changed in the past 103 years. Since these were courses required by law, I assume they were akin to what we today would call core curriculum, the language arts and math standards that students are expected to master to graduate. We have very different standards today than 100 years ago up in Tennessee. Times, they are a changing. Applies not only to education, it applies to all of our lives and the times are a changing at a speed unknown to humankind ever. 13 years ago, Ray Kurzweil, an inventor, entrepreneur, author, and futurist, said it took the entire 20th century to make the progress we now make in 20 years at today's rate of change. And he predicted that by now we would be making that rate of change in seven years. He said the 21st century would be equivalent to 20,000 years of progress at today's rate. Look at our world, self-driving cars, the rate at which your phone and computer are outdated, more and more people working from home because there's no reason to go to the office. And think of the Christmas ads for the virtual reality toys. Your children and grandchildren, and even you, can explore space or go snowboarding while sitting in the comfort and safety of your home. And yet, in the midst of all this speeding change, there is one constant, one immutable of which we can be certain, and on which we must base our lives in this very fast-paced, ever-changing world. That is, of course, that the God we worship today is the same God whose very breath swept over the formless void and brought creation into being. Our God today is the same God whose self-revelation in the birth of a baby born in a stable in Bethlehem and called him my beloved son, his baptism, is the same God who when Jesus died on the cross, raised him to new life and has given us God's own spirit to be with us as guide, strength, help, comfort, courage, and peace. Our God today is the same God who through the prophet Malachi said, I, the Lord, do not change. So in this world of flocks in which we live that demands that we respond to the changes in the world, our faith in this unchanging God enables us to have a firm foundation on which we can live our lives, hoping, trusting, believing that in the midst of all the adjustments we have to make, in the face of all the innovations we have to accommodate, and all the revisions to our lifestyles that will come, God created us out of His peace to live in peace, made us out of His light to live in light, and that God continues to touch us with God's love that we might above all, above all things, love as we are loved. This new year will bring significant changes into many of our lives. 
many changes into some of our lives. May we all in bold faith by God's grace hold fast to the unchangeable one and experience this God's touch in our lives. Let us pray. Unchangeable one who revealed yourself in Jesus, who is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Touch each of us in the place of our deepest need with your peace, light, and love that we might face the future and the changes that are coming. Give us by your grace the strength, the courage, the hope we need to face whatever today and tomorrow may bring. Amen. God bless the rest of your week. See you in church Sunday.